I really like to keep anastomids. That is the family that Leporinus belong to. But that group is actually really diverse. There are 15 genera and a total of over 160 species. Some are really small, around 10 centimeters or 4 inches, and others will get big, over 60 centimeters or 2 feet. Today I want to show you species from 8 of the 15 genera. In nature, Leporinus and related species are often first found on the scene if some change happens in their environment. Here in the Rio Xingu, a rock was flipped to expose sponges, leeches, and other microinvertebrates. Right away, several species of Leporinus arrive at this new feeding opportunity. These fish are actually really interesting to keep, despite their bad reputation. We have another profile for Petulano spiloclistron that is more detailed, so there's a link in the description, or it should just play after this video. This is the real Leporinus maculatus. That name gets used a lot, but the real fish is a really nice smaller species that does well in medium-sized aquariums. Also a good way to get rid of snails. This one is Leporinus octomaculatus, digging for snails. It's another smaller species from Brazil. I often keep these fish with geophagus and other cichlids as dither fish, so they can cut down the aggression of the cichlids. Leporinus bilineatus is really rare. I've only ever seen this one fish, which is too bad. It's a really small species that is a great algae eater. You'll also see Leporellus vitatus here, the yellow and black striped fish that moves like a rocket. These are widespread in the Amazon, always living in the rapids and really strong current. They are quite territorial. This is one of the more challenging species because they fight all day long and they will go after slow moving fish in the aquarium also. Anostomus ternetsi are fantastic fish. In nature, they are like cleaners that pull leeches and other parasites off the other fish. That also means they will pull on the fins of other fish in the aquarium, especially if they are slow moving like angelfish. But with fast flowing water in plecos or cichlids, they do just fine. In Guyana, you can find Anostomus anastomus, which is more beautiful. They have bright red fins. You can also see Hippomasticus megalepis here. Hippomasticus have a more downturned mouth and always have red spots in the corner of their lips, like a little dimple. These two come from rapids and they're always moving, but not aggressive towards other fish. In the Shingu River, you can always see these, Hippomasticus juli, grazing on algae and biocover on the rocks. Some species occur in slow-moving water. This one is Ritiotis. It looks like a gigantic pencil fish. And they get big, maybe 18 inches or 45 centimeters. In nature, they live in the branches of fallen trees, so you can see how the body shape is ideal camouflage there. The nicest species are the really small ones with the upturned mouth. A 90 centimeter or 36 inch aquarium is fine for these, and they will do well with small cichlids and with any plecos. This spotted and striped one is Petrolana spiloclistron. You can see here these fish get along well in a community. You can actually keep many species together and that works great. This upturned mouth is so that the fish can graze on the underside of overhanging rocks and boulders in the rapids. This one is Pseudanus winterbottomy, and it's going to demonstrate how they live on the underside of branches. Finally, my favorite is Synaptolemus latofasciatus. These live in caves and crevasses in nature, but in the aquarium they're quite active and seen throughout the day. They can vary from yellow to orange and even bright red stripes. I did not mention much about food because generally these anastomid fish will eat anything, but of course they like some frozen food and high quality pellet food to maintain their bright colors. You'll have noticed that all of the aquariums have a lot of current, just like you would see in nature, where many of these fish are found. Make sure to subscribe to this channel at the end of the video.